time to rob this store. We're gonna have him in there for about three, four hours. Skip it a button, butter. Uh oh, they got out. <laughs> White boy summer. Why am I holding this? They get to hang out in the nice pond. This man really went and snoozed. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Today I'm taking Biggerton Ouncerton to the gym. As you guys all know, Big Ounce is obviously a service animal. He's been uh, through three tours in Iraq, one in Afghanistan, and two in Vietnam. This alone qualifies him to be a service animal, so I'm taking him into the gym with me. Coincidentally, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for tips on what to do at the gym. So today, Big Ounce and I are going to be teaching you guys how to lift. Okay, guys, if I'm going to walk you through my routine, first things first, we need to get Big Ounce some pre-workout. I like to give this little guy two to three scoops of this stuff to start out with, and then we'll go from there. Here you go, Big Al. Okay, guys, now that we got him his pre-workout, he's pretty hyped up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take him in the bathroom. We'll get him some real supplements. Come <laughs> uh, Two tans, one for me and one for my friend. Okay. Everyone loves Biggerton. Okay guys, we made it in here. I'm gonna go ahead and get Big Ounce a tan. I like to just put him in here for about three to four hours every day. It keeps his complexion nice and brown. Uh, ever since I started coming in here for Big Ounce, they put these little stools in here so I can sit down while I put him in here. We're gonna have him in there for about three, four hours. Don't forget to wipe it down after you're done using it. After that, I'll go ahead and get him a spray tan in case if that other one wasn't enough. See you guys in about three to four hours. And I do this every day with Big Ounce. Next, we're gonna take him into the red light Therapy. I'll see you guys in four to six hours. <laughs> Bye. After that, we'll get on the elliptical for about four to six more hours. Okay, now that we're done with that, we have a couple more hours in the day. I'm gonna go ahead into this secret bathroom and take the rest of our supplement stack. This one locks from the outside. I don't know why. And then I'll head into a little drawing for my post-workout and I'll see you guys in about another 20 to 40 minutes. Big Ounce actually teaches a spinning course, so I put them on here for the next uh, three to four hours. That will go ahead and take our pump picks in the mirror. This is uh, the one with the best light. I'll just go ahead and do this for another three to four hours. I have to get the lighting just perfect. All you guys have been asking, what's your post-workout routine? And what are you eating, Uncle Ben? See, that's the big thing. 90% of bodybuilding happens in the kitchen, you guys. Big Ounce has about a full scoop of mass gainer after every workout. Half of this uh, for me. Move all the hot pig out. This is what I do every day. I don't change my routine up at all, and I think consistency is the most important thing. All right, everybody, these kitchens are officially tamed. And now I can rehome them after getting very attached. Sometimes I like to just pick them up with my feet. <laughs> Poke. Hey, you couldn't help but notice me. You took a little screenshot right there. <laughs> Not sure why, but you haven't even liked the video yet. Good morning, everybody. I forgot that I'd fallen asleep with Biggerton last night, and I took all the covers away from him, and he was so mad. After I wake this little man up, I move him over here into our special little reading corner, where I wrap him up in a little tiny ball. But then I'll usually read to him. Look at this chubby boy just hunched up at the end of my bed. There is not a creature more precious than this bigger tip. Now that this is an official wildlife rehab, I can only have big outs inside for so much longer. <laughs> So he just lets me play with his feet while he's sleeping. Guys, Patrick's finally getting his little horns. He's a button buck now. By the end of today, this enclosure will be done. And this will be for any other large animals we have. Hawks, eagles, whatever. Or even someone's lemurs if they don't want them anymore. We're almost done putting up the drywall in the new place. Okay, so I need to buy 20 poles for these. I've had Soldier Boy and the other Rias out here. Remington is limping because he's a little cringe boy, but he's going to be okay. Hello, Billy Eyelash. I am I'm gonna go ahead and move the goats into this back area here. Come on, all the goats come out. And these guys will all follow me because they know I'm gonna feed them. Hello, Karen, hello. Good morning, the babers. Dude's just bing chilling over there. But it's nice to see all these guys running around out here. They get to hang out in the nice pond and drink from it. Kevin's all by his lonesome over there, but he has tons of food and water. I'll let these guys eat those nasty weeds over there for a second. I say hello to Homelander. He lets me do just about whatever I want to, especially whenever I'm on this side of the fence. 
<laughs> I moved all the re out here for this specific reason. I had those fellas drilling these holes out here. Okay, we are gonna have to redo half of these, but that's okay. All right, everybody, the time has come. These guys are friendly. I'm gonna be rehoming them to my friend. Well, at least we'll be able to give me updates on these adorable little creatures, and I'll be able to know if they're being taken care of. But look, you guys, he even lets me scratch him and he purred. Good morning, everybody. This is a day in the life of Big Ounce video. I'm taking this man to Austin so we can rehome the two cats. Mr. Patrick here always gets very upset when I leave him here. He eats all my plants. I'm taking this little precious boy to Austin so he can have a fun day on the town. I'm gonna show you guys what Big Ounce and I do every day. This is our daily routine, every day. Every day, Big Ounce and I rehome two cats in Austin. Oh, look at this precious little bean just laying here in his bubble. I think Big Ounce kind of likes being in the car, honestly. He's so comfy. This man really went and snoozed in the car. <laughs> Green jaw, big ounce, looking all cute and sleepy. All right, everybody. I forgot my fishing stuff today, so I'm going to take big ounce to Bass Pro Shops before we go to Austin. I'm going to try and cast out a ton of cichlids and put them in my pond. That's why I brought this big boy. So I need to get an aerator and a cast net. I'm going to go ahead and park in the military parking because big ounce is a veteran. Thank you for your service, big ounce. But here we are, Bass Pro Shops. Okay, guys, we're going to go in there. I'm going to have to put him in here, though. I think he needs to stay in here for the whole time. But I might be able to feed him to the fish that are in there. But those of you from out of the country, this is a Bass Pro Shops. It's a magical place. How do I... Just get, get out. You, you can do it. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, this is a Bass Pro Shop, so they got about a million dollars worth of just taxidermy in here. Okay, here's the cast net. Oh, it's very important that we pick a cast net that's big enough for Big Ounce to throw. We'll grab two of these just in case we lose one. Look at this beautiful black crappie. And obviously, I've caught every fish in this pool, you guys. But I'm going to throw Big Ounce in there so he can grab me a bow fin so I can put it in my pond. Look at this boy's weird old eye. But this is all we need to get him? Wow, they have javelinas here. They really went and taxidermy these baby beavers and look guys it's tank and they have as many guns as you can eat and all i wanted from you guys were just some taxidermized wood ducks tank uh oh they got out you guys they're out i don't know how those little dinguses got out but now they're just somewhere in my car as long as they stay away from the gas pedal that's all that matters okay guys it is three o'clock on a tuesday this is absolutely disgusting this is why i moved out of austin why anyone would want to live here period is beyond me my my buddy who's gonna be taking them already has this little orange boy who's already friends with them. Here we are again, downtown Austin. This is where some of the most lovely people live. But here we are, downtown Austin. As you guys can see, there's a lot of cichlids right there. Probably the best place to find bathing homeless people and cichlids is this exact spot. Today, Big Ounce is gonna be showing us how to cast net some fish. Okay, guys, after that, you just go ahead and jump down here. We need to get some water for our bucket. Sure hope I don't step on a needle. Oh, looks like Big Ounce already escaped. <laughs> oh, I'm panicking. Big Ounce, don't eat any heroin. Just spit that out, Big Ounce. No, those are amphetamines. You out of that backpack all by yourself? Gosh, there's thorns everywhere. Nothing like a little urban prairie dog chilling in the wild. Do you want to go back in there, Mr. Ounce? Whoever made this product, they made it poorly. As you can see, Big Ounce can chew right through there and then climb out this adorable little pocket. But these are cichlids and they're free for me to catch with a fishing license and take home and bring to my pond. You can also just do it like this. <laughs> oh, that was too far. That was too far. I threw it too far. Oh, little bra in there. I told you guys homeless people bathe here. You know what? If they can do it, why can't I? What's about Uncle Ben get out there stripped down to his skibby? Come on, guys. This is how you actually throw it, you guys. You want it to be flat like a pancake. No! We can't take this man anywhere. Okay, Big Ounce just live in Austin now. Bye, Big Ounce. Good luck in the big city. Big Ounce, no, there's needles down there. Okay, now that I got these boys on our USB bubbler that I got at Bass Pro Shop, they have a significantly less chance of dying. They're definitely not going to die. They're real hardy. <laughs> okay, Mr. B Alt's here now, and we're catching some of the big boys. White boy summer, white boy summer, white boy summer. Whoa, oh, look at that white boy. Is that, that's the white one? Yeah, they instantly turned back. Yeah, they don't look as white whenever they're out of the water. That's, that's interesting. Oh, look at that. 
that beautiful little fake. Okay, this is our setup. We have Big Ounce over here eating some hay. Anytime he catches a fish over there, we just throw it in here in this little live well. Beautiful homeless man here named Max uh, took Brandon's shoes. Uh, he's going to be helping us catch some turtles. <laughs> oh, look at this little catfish, bro. I guess he's just a little dead baby. Why am I holding this? And old Uncle Ben cast netted a bass. Now this would be illegal for us to keep. Well, looks like I threw it a little too high. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Europeans. Do you have a prettier freshwater species than this? Dude, take a look at this. This is one of the big white males. Beautiful little purple eye there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This old guy is going in our pond. Ooh, found a nice little clothing item for the way home. I'll bring this to the gym next time I go. We're used to taking these off. Hey, you give me that back. You give me that back. That's mine. I found that. Let's give it a bad and better. Big Ounce says, please release me from this prison. Please, father, I long for those fish. Dumb and stupid in your little crate. <laughs> Bro, I told you not to get too close to the cage. What even happened? I told you, man, he's strong. That was so fast. He fought in three wars. Oh, my God. B all died later that evening from Ligma. Also, I made this little video for the other channel. I, I mean, I don't have another channel at all. I don't have that would be cringe if I had one. Uh, I love you. Appreciate you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And uh, if and maybe I will post this. Maybe I won't. Hey!